not even a joke, nothing bothers me more than when a place that has solidified itself as making a certain thing comes out with a thing that people have been buying from other places, and then they jack up the price and go, well, this is what the price should have been. And then the other places raise their price because they go, well, why not? The same thing happened with McDonald's. They started you know, coming out with those donuts, those glazed things, and which weren't great. You know, I'd rather go to Dunkin' Donuts, but then the prices for glazed donuts went up. You know, and, and that could be from anything, but I think it's from corruption. But maybe this won't be that. Hey there, and welcome back to Snackable. Today on Snackable, I'm trying something that uh, four or five, possibly six people have asked me to try just because they're like, hey, I don't want to waste my money on this. How much do you waste your money? <laughs> they're like, hey, why don't you try it? Tell me if it's good enough. Um, and honestly, I have mixed opinions on this uh, because I think I know what it's going to taste like and price-wise be like, but I, until I try it, I, I don't know. Of course, it's from Domino's. It's the Loaded Tater Tots. Now, uh, I haven't looked in here. Um, it smells delicious. Now, the only one that I felt like I could really get without you guys going, oh, but you haven't tried like the best one uh, was the Philly cheesesteak one, and I figured that one's probably going to be the best. The other one that they had was just cheddar and bacon, and the other one was like three cheese. So it's like, boy, if you get those right, congratulations, you've made a thing that everybody already loved. But Philly cheesesteak from Domino's, that could that could turn the tide. If you know, if you like that, it's like, oh, that's so they make good food. And don't get me wrong, I love Domino's pizza. But when it comes to their other stuff, I've always thought that it was overpriced. You know, you'll look at their breadsticks and it's like, whoa, that's weird you know uh or their wings or their pastas it's like hey stop making these things and stop making them so expensive like if if anything give them out for free <laughs> so we're gonna open this up and see what they look like for the first time okay interesting it definitely smells like a philly cheese steak so it's got tater tots cheese uh steak um green peppers and onions so i'm excited to see how these are the tater tots are like cooked to perfection. I'll say that right now. I can You can always see from the outside if they are or aren't, and they are. So let's give this a try. I got some crispy cheese in there, and mm, that is good. Here's one with a little more pepper on it. Man, I really thought I wasn't going to like this, and I'm I'm loving every minute of it. It's gooey, it's crunchy from the outside of the tater tots, but the insides are nice and soft. The peppers hit you, the flavor of the steak, which there could be more of, but I mean, ultimately, when all the flavors are hitting you, you're, you're not like, man, there's not enough steak. It's just, it's really, really good. Now, the price of this is, I think, for what you're getting, phenomenal. Uh, it's $6.99, um, and that's for all the three different ones. This is the best one to get. The three cheese is fine. Um, I even had some marinara that I got uh, another time that I was going to put on this because I thought it was going to be like flavorless or something, and it's not. Um, so $6.99 for that. I thought it was going to be too overpriced because you could get something for like about the same price at like Sheets or Wawa, and it's just as good, if not better. Um, but this is phenomenal. This is a 9 out of 10 without a doubt. Honestly, the only thing keeping it from a 10 is consistency because I think it's it's probably just about perfect now, but I have a good feeling that different places will make it differently. So you could have a 7 or you could have a 10 or you could have a 3 experience. It's all going to depend. If they don't leave it in long enough or whatever, mine was in perfection time. That's that's There was a little dial that said perfection and that's what they did. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please go and try that for yourself. See if you like it just as much. Uh, if not, you know, you have to take chances in life. That's a complaint that I usually get that, um, well, oh, if you think it's going to be bad, why don't you try it? Because of this reason right here. I thought it was going to be bad. I thought it wasn't going to be worth the money. And then I tried it. I gave it the benefit of the doubt and it was fantastic. It blew me away. So that's why you give it a chance. That's why you try things that maybe people will say, oh, that's gross, and maybe it won't be. Maybe it will be, and, you know, I give it a chance. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below what I should be trying next. And ultimately, I guess we'll have to see what we're trying next time. Bye.